Hello friends, welcome back. Today in this video tutorial, we'll see how we can connect Windows EC2 instances from MacBook. If you have a Mac system, how you can connect from your Mac system to your EC2 Windows instance using Microsoft Remote Desktop. So let's start. Log in to your AWS Management Console. Go to EC2. Hope you guys are familiar with the creation of EC2 instances. So if you are not, let me create one Windows instance for you and then we'll see how we can connect to the Windows instance from our MacBooks. Just click here in the launch instance. Here you can search in this Windows and we can find it here two images are there so we can see suppose I just want to select the second one 2009 data center edition with container so just select and select the instance type which you want to so next select configuration instance and uh, I'm just leaving as it is everything and then add storage here by default it will give you 30 GB of storage just let next add tags so let me add the name to this server that is win server okay and then just in that and we can create new security group or you can select any existing so i have already a security group exists so i select win server and then you can just hit review and launch okay so when you click on review and launch what it will do it will just give you to review the options whatever you have selected and this then click on the launch so as soon as you launch it it will ask you to create the, the new key pair okay so what we can do here we can select an existing key pair if you have or you can create a new pair so what you do you can uh, just give any name like um, um, in server demo server okay win server demo then you can download the key you have so i have already the existing key pair and I acknowledge it and then launch instance so if you come here you can see the windows instances is in pending state okay just to refresh the page we can see here it is started running so now our windows instances has created and it is in running state now so how we'll connect to this windows instance so let me just show you just click on this instance id what you'll do um what you will get you will get one public ip okay and all the information related to this we need this public ip to connect we have to generate the password to connect the windows server okay so how we can do so here just select this server okay once you select you can see here one connect option is here just click on this connect and what you'll see you'll see there are two options by using session manager and the rdp client so i'll go with this rdp client you can see here the default username to connect windows machine is administrator okay so here you can generate the password for that just click on get password and just browse the certificate key which we created during our instance creation so we have to just can browse it and select the key so once you select the key you can see here the private key is pasted over here and you can click on the decrypt password so as soon as you click on the decrypt password it will give you the password to connect the windows machine so to connect to the windows server from the macbook we need one of the tool that is called microsoft remote desktop okay so using microsoft remote desktop will connect from our mac system so let's download so how you will download it uh, just go to your app store okay just go to your app store microsoft remote desktop see the icon over here microsoft remote desktop work from anywhere okay so i have already installed on my macbook so that's why it is not giving uh, for to get our installation options over here so you can click and open and it will open for me for you it will show you as get 
So click on the get and install this Microsoft Remote Desktop on your laptop. Okay. So once you uh, install this, just go to your in the spotlight search, you can search for remote and just get the remote desktop. So you will see one uh, Microsoft remote desktop windows will come off and here you can click on the add PC or you can click here in the just plus icon click here and add PC. Okay. As soon as we click it here, you have uh, it will ask for the IP address, public IP address of your Windows server or the host name just give the IP address and just give the user account okay so I'm, I already have added one administrator the default user account but I'm, I'll just show you how you can add it just click on the add user account and here you have to provide the username that is administrator the default username administrator and then the password remember uh, we had created the password so you have to paste the password over here okay so paste the password over here and just click on add so we are added now so now you can again click on add so you can see here one desktop is added over here one pc is added so just double click it here and first time you'll see certificates you can just hit in the show certificate you can see this is the certificate you can click on the always trust this certificate when connecting if you trust this certificate um, or just hit in the continue and go ahead continue what it will do it will just try to connect yeah so you can see here we successfully connected to our windows machine here all the informations about your windows server windows machine the windows host name and the instance id public ip private ip everything is given it here okay and you can see here the informations about the pc so we had given while creating 30 gb out of 30 gb we have now 14.8 gb free so hope you understood clearly how we can create the windows ec2 instance and then using microsoft remote desktop how we can connect to the windows machine from our macbook so thank you guys if you like it please share and subscribe my channel if you're not yet subscribed thank you